Hi there, this is going to be a quick update to the last uh, ACC setup video that I made a few months ago. Um, I had a lot of questions from that one asking if what was being shown on screen uh, was representative of what I was seeing in the headset. And the answer is yes, but in this video I'm going to try and show you with some dodgy through the lens uh, footage that I shot on my phone. First, here's an update on my settings as things have changed slightly since the DLSS update and just a heads up. DLSS sucks in VR. Right, so at the top of the screen here, we just got the normal stuff. So full screen disabled, resolution 1080p, uh, V-Sync disabled, don't want that enabled in VR. Frame rate limit 90, frame rate uh, limiter is enabled and obviously triple screen is disabled because um, we don't need that. So in the basic section, resolution scale is at 130%, view distance high, shadows high, shadow distance is mid, contact shadows is enabled, anti-aliasing is high, and I found this made a big difference to the clarity of the graphics. Anti-aliasing type is temporal, Gen 5 is disabled, and DLSS is also disabled, because in VR it sucks, it just makes everything so blurry. However, the FSR is a lot better, so that's enabled. FSR quality is set to custom, FSR sharpness is set to 90%, and um, the effects is high, post-processing is high, foliage is low, textures are epic, mirror quality is mid, 40 meters auto mid, this is all for the mirrors, uh, 40, 40 opponents available. So in the virtual reality bit, just leave it at 100%. For the advanced section, the material qualities are high, the temporal upsampling is grayed out because of FSR, uh, bloom quality is off, volumetric fog disabled, volumetric LOD quality low, car LOD quality 100%, HLOD enabled, and the uh, sharpening filter is disabled. In image customization, the motion blur is off because we don't want that in VR. Saturation I've got down at 90% because I think that gives it a little bit of a better color scape. Um, per complete personal preference, white balance neutral, and sharpness is again grayed out because of FSR. The rest of the stuff is just uh, completely standard. So that's the setup. Next up is some through the lens footage. So a couple of things to bear in mind while watching this. Firstly, I shot this on my phone and it's pretty hard to get the phone into the perfect position so that it's aligned with the headset sweet spot. Uh, so my experience in the headset is far better than what you'll be seeing here. Um, I don't see any of the edge distortions, any of the blurring and the chromatic abbreviations that are present in the footage. When the footage becomes sharp, that's more like a representation of what I'm seeing, except it's far more consistent across my whole field of view. Secondly, the frame rates recorded here are a result of my particular hardware, that being the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X, the 3080Ti and the Vive Pro. So I wouldn't expect to be seeing 90fps on higher resolution headsets or uh, a lesser CPU or a lesser video card. Okay, so here we go, trying to get the phone into the headset. It doesn't quite fit, so I've got to sort of hold it in at an angle, and I'll try and find the sweet spot. The, that's kind of it, I suppose. So you can see there, yeah, the dash is, is pretty clear. It looks pretty clear from this footage. Um, and so is the detail there on the uh, on the GTR. And we'll come past it. I'll try and spin the headset around and have a look. And I, no, I pushed it outside. <laughs> pushed it outside the car. Um, so, yeah, detail on the steering wheel. You can see all of the text and the buttons and all the little details are absolutely gorgeous. Um, ACC was always a bit blurry with text, especially on the car's dashboard. Uh, but with these settings, it's really, really nice. So you can see in the distance as well, there's lots of detail on the cars as they go around the parabolica there. Uh, this is, of course, a replay. Um, I'm not trying to race as well as hold a phone inside the headset, that would never work, but the graphic loading on a replay compared to what it is on a live run is pretty much exactly the same. The only thing that we're not seeing is stuff like tyre temperatures and brake temperatures, they don't seem to get calculated. Either that or they're just not displayed on the screen there, you can see everything's blue. Uh, but coming around the first corner, we can see that these are the figures that I'm seeing in the headset which correlate to what's being put out by the... Um, the VR FPS mirror. So we're getting around 45 around the parabolica because it's quite, not parabolica, sorry, the first corner because it's quite um, intense, there's lots of cars in the vicinity, but exiting that then we're hitting 90 FPS and the quality of the graphics here is, is lovely, you can see the, the drink buttons super clear, but that's kind of representative of what it's like across the whole uh, the whole display for me. Now the Vive has got a quite a small sweet spot 
and um, the edge-to-edge -edge clarity isn't great with it, but it, it, it's really something to get used to. It is much better than what you're seeing with the phone here, so uh, you can just kind of see the, the Fresnel lens rings on the phone as well, which that's something that I can't see in the headset. So coming through this uh, last section of Monza around the parabolic, you can see the detail on the Aston in front is really really good it's kind of got the phone in a good spot here we'll try and spin around to see that no nope, just missed it so yeah i've moved my phone a little bit now so we're just getting lots of uh, blurring on the edges but i don't see that when it's on my face so again coming into the first corner you can see that despite the fact that the fps is dropping and reprojection is kicking in still getting a nice smooth experience it's a little bit jittery but it's totally manageable, it's totally playable. And given the fact that the, the clarity of graphics here is, you know, pretty high, I'm more than happy with it. And, um, yeah, I twatted that Ferrari off the track there. So, on to the wet race. So, again, like the last video, I did two races, one in the dry and one in the wet, just to see what the difference with the, um, the FPS is. And um, this is, I think, on the right eye. So I've kind of got the phone in a bit of a better position here, so you can sort of see that it's, it looks pretty good, uh, particularly in the wet. Getting a good 90, good solid 90 FPS. Really, reprojection is only kicking in through the first corner, uh, but wet races are slightly harder on the system because the proximity of the cars they tend to stay bunched up uh, more and when you've got more cars in the vicinity that's when um, the system has a harder time but coming up on this BMW the detail on the car in front is really really good the, the detail of the effects is really good so spin around as we pass it and it just looks looks really nice really sharp so the AMD FSR technology is far far better than um, than the DLSS and using the resolution scale at 130% it really does crisp up the graphics and it doesn't seem to have a performance hit so once again looking down at FPS VR we can see we're getting 90 FPS as we career down blindly toward Parabolica um, the rain effects look really good as well sometimes the rain can look a little bit dodgy it can, it can appear quite black on the screen but for the most part it looks really good Spray effects look really good as well. System doesn't seem to be having much trouble dealing with that either. Uh, again, the interior of the car looks nice and sharp. But as you can see, the race logic display there is getting really, really blurry. That's I don't see that in the headset at all. That's just uh, an, an artifact of trying to film this with a phone. So there you go. There's a quick look into my perspective of uh, ACC in VR. Hopefully the settings that I described at the beginning of the video can help you configure your game to achieve similar results. And um, if you've got similar hardware, then I don't see why you can't. Um, quite frankly, right now, I am more than happy with how this game looks and drives um, in VR. So that's good going considering ACC is such an absolute pig. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time.